but it, they can't necessarily do that while the cartels are, are running the government. They have no upward mobility, and that's we well, sell them then, the American then, then, dream. Then go fix your country. Because that's not the, my problem. Isn't that the point of America to no, sell so the American what dream? What is the point of America? Is the point to bring in a bunch of foreigners, For or is the point to protect our own citizens? Well, is we, it we the foreigners of the United States? The foreigners are the ones that became the citizens. Well, is it? Well, that's the question. Were we founded by immigrants or founded by settlers? They're the same thing. No, they're not. Settlers come to something not built. Immigrants come to something already built. But all the all the immigrants that came to something already built that are now citizens. Fair enough. Yeah, they're here. But now we're not. We're still selling that dream, but not allowing them in in the proper yeah, way. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean by selling the dream? Of the American dream. That that's still a huge talking point, and that's still a big yeah, dream I mean, of fame that we have. You know, the American dream I want sold is for all American-born kids to be able to own a home and have a family and have kids. What's a bit of hope, you guys? Ah, uh, feeling. Yo, today guys, we're back here on the new video. Today we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook shuts down pro open borders Libra. Okay. I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking ass. Let's get right to today's video. Hey, uh, my name's Nicholas. I was just wondering, like, what exactly you think about undocumented immigrants? So what would you say about, like, the dairy industry and things like that, which, like, you know, their backs are built off of undocumented immigrants? Hire American. Higher American? Yeah, but um, then we'd have to like pay them more because exactly. right now- Exactly, we would have to pay them more American and we, we, would, we, we, we would see higher wages and the middle class in America would boom. Yeah, but I mean, I feel, I'm pretty sure a lot of like, uh, a lot of people like fight against higher wages. Why is that exactly? Well, I'm sure corporations fight against higher wages. That's why they want a bunch of foreigners to take American jobs and keep wages low. Because so they don't want to pay their workers because it might decrease their profitability. So you are pro higher wages? Of course. So That's why I, I, want, I want people that work in the dairy industry or at Tyson Foods or that work with their hands to be able to flourish and buy a home and have an American way of life that is largely forgotten now for many of them. So um, what, what do you exactly classify as an American? Like what if it's someone who did come like- legally? U.S. passport holder. Okay, they, um, but even if they like came here legally? Well, I said le illegally legally. or- Legally. Well, if they came legally. here legally, if they go through a process, they can get a U.S. passport, yeah. Okay. Until then, they're a visitor applying to be a member of our very large country. Okay, so pro higher wages for Americans? Of course, yeah. Okay. Thank you. There's obviously a lot of bad people coming in illegally through the border, but there's also a lot of uh, good people that want to work hard that can't come legally due to the rampant corruption on the border. In some cases, it can cost up to 200,000 pesos to come in legally, and that's more than a Mexican citizen can make in their entire lifetime. So how can we like sell them the American dream but not let them in legally, the people that want to do good, um, not let them in legally to pursue that dream? Yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter if they want to do good. Just send them back to their country. I mean, there's a lot of Vietnamese that want to do good and come here, but they don't live close, so they don't border jump. So, okay. And this is not their home. Go back to your home and go make Mexico great again. But it, they can't necessarily do that while the cartels are, are running the government. They have no upward mobility. And that's, we well, sell them then, the American then, then, dream. Then go fix your country. Because that's not the, my problem. Isn't that the point of America to no, sell so the American what dream? What is the point of America? Is the point to bring in a bunch of foreigners? For or is the point to protect our own citizens? Well, is we, it we the foreigners of the United States? The foreigners are the ones that became the citizens. Well, is it? Well, that's the question. Were we founded by immigrants or founded by settlers? They're the same thing. No, they're not. Settlers come to something not built. Immigrants come to something already built. But all the, all the immigrants that came to something already built that are now citizens. Fair enough. Yeah, they're here. But now we're not, we're still selling that dream, but not allowing them in, in the proper yeah, way. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean by selling the dream? Of the American dream, that, that's still a huge talking point, and that's still a big yeah, I mean, of fame that we have. You know, the American dream I want sold is for all American-born kids to be able to own a home and have a family and have kids. I'm sorry if the concern of, like, a third worlder in Honduras is not my primary concern. Like, the a whole idea of a government is you put your people first. You don't put the, like, compassionate narratives of someone in the third world first. Well, what Our country's falling apart. Most of you guys will not be able to own a home. You're going to be swimming in debt, medical debt, student loan debt, credit card debt. We're sending hundreds of millions of dollars to Ukraine. So yeah, we, we should secure the border and put our put young people first and fulfill the social contract. Then we can worry about the third world. Wouldn't letting the individuals that want to come here and work hard and contribute to the country make it better for all American citizens? Has it? Uh, in the past, yes. Has it the last five years? Have the amount of illegals in this country made the country better for all people? Well. Most of those individuals aren't aren't the good people. 
Mm -hmm. So then if they want to be here so bad, we do have a legal process. So then just go through the legal process. But the legal process is, is almost impossible for most people. Well, it's impossible for Mongolians too. Okay. So you, either we have an immigration system or we don't, and we're deciding we just let anyone in our country, no matter what, just because they're poor. Uh, my focus was more on the corruption on the um, the corruption the immigration is fine. System. We can fix it. That's fine. But my my concern is why do we not put especially American eighteen to twenty year olds first? You guys get the last of everything. Instead, the abstractions of the regime seem to take priority. So, gotcha. thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi. Good afternoon, Mr. Kirk. Uh, I have a disagreement with your take on the border policy. Okay. Uh, to my understanding, uh, you said we should reduce the immigrant on the border to zero. Correct? Well, um, a well, little bit by myself. My name is June. I just got out of the Marine Corps. My whole career is about war on terror. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, well, at least that's what, that's what they told me when they throw me in Bahrain and told me on standby. I'm all about keeping the terrorists out of the country, but uh, I disagree with you because historically speaking, more than 12,000 Chinese laborers built the railroads for America in the 1800s. Not all of them are documented and legal. Thousands of Irish immigrants built the skyscrapers in New York. Not all of them are documented. No, they legal. did come in legally. That is true. The, the Irish did, yeah. But also, uh, back in the 1920s, all the way t up to 60s, uh, the government took the Legislative Act of Barcero Act that imports millions of Mexican workers for the labor work in this country. And why all of a sudden you want to close it down? And there's almost zero exposure on the northern border. Well, there are people crossing on the northern border too, but why do I want to shut it down? They're breaking the law. Should we not have the law that says you can't walk into the country without proper approval? Well, for the longest time, they can just- Well, no, hold on. The Irish came via Ellis Island. Okay. A a every, the Czechoslovakians came legally. The Polish came legally, so I, I, I don't know what group you're, I mean, the Chinese, I'll take your word for it. I would imagine they came through a port of entry and we knew who they were, but we have no idea who these people are on the southern border. We don't know their background. We don't know why they're here. It's 15,000 people a day that are illegally crossing into the country, breaking our laws. Okay, so for the past 50 years, there hasn't really been a fence or any sort of uh, process to deport them or catch them when they cross no, the border. No, that's not true. We've had deportations for the last 30 years. In fact, we, we did mass deportations in the early 2000s. Even Obama deported about a couple hundred thousand people a year. So why all of a sudden now everything, you, you want to tighten up everything? You know why? Because the border crisis has never been so bad. It used to be a couple hundred a day. Now it's 15,000 a day. Okay, so it's about the severity, not really about... It's both. It, I mean, I've always been a hawk on the border, but now it's reaching a... a, a it's reaching a, such a point where illegals are taking over schools in Chicago and New York, disenfranchising native-born American social services. And not to mention, um, the law is very clear. We have a process to come into this country, and they're deciding to break that law, which is a crime. Okay. Uh, is there a better approach to this besides just shutting up the border? Uh, yeah. Also have Mexico do it, which Trump did. Mexico could secure the border as well, and they're choosing not to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. How you doing, sir? I uh, might have to go visit all those lunatics in a second. I do apologize so. if I said her. Not the best at public speaking. That's okay. Thank you for coming up. Of course. I was just going to ask, um, how do we morally deal with, because don't get me wrong, I am conservative. I do believe that illegal immigrants shouldn't come to the country and take up social welfare systems and all that. Um, how do we deal with cases where they came here illegally, they had a child, should we allow those parents to stay or allow that child to just have no... It's like, a good question. Away? Yeah, just deport the whole family back. Even though the child has no connections, like to their family's home country. Oh, so they were smuggled into the country? No, born here. Like oh, if, the well, if they're born here, here they right. stay because they're a U.S. citizen. So I, was I, asking, I think we should get rid of birthright citizenship, but I don't get what I want, so... Okay. Um... This is really, really interesting. Whenever it comes to all these um, pro-open borders, laborers, like, I keep on saying it, like, you don't come into another man's country and feel like you are meant to be there without coming there legally. 
flowing through the right process because there are a lot of people who are waiting for opportunity to come to the US. So you share southern borders with US and a lot of people, thousands of people are trooping in, tens of thousands, 10,000, 15,000 are entering to America on a daily basis. That is crazy. That is massive. And uh, I've, I've not heard about any other country that tens of thousands are tripping to their country illegally. Illegally. Not legally, illegally. Which is massive, guys. It's massive. Um, I know that Mexico, Mexicans, they also helped build up America. Truth be told. But um, that is right. That is, that is good. But some of the people who came into the America to help build up America, they came through the right process. Chinese too, I know some of them also came they came to uh, different people from different countries came into America to build up America to, to who America is right now. You understand? And um, that is not something that has been hidden. That is obvious. But what we are seeing right now is that people are coming into America illegally and that itself is massive and very, very dangerous because why it affects welfare. It affects jobs because the main citizens who are supposed to get some certain jobs will not be able to assess such jobs and no wages. Like that wages drops. It's it's really, really terrible. You've been in your own country and you are not able to like fend for yourself again. I am wondering what is happening. It's, the mass immigration is something that is really a serious topic and something that they should take very, very serious about and shut down the borders increase the war like it's serious because when people are coming into america that way it's it's terrible it affects the economy of america too so the, the thing is that um i know a lot of people are passing through hardship in different countries also in in mexico and the cartel kind of like rule the country in some certain way um something that we talked about before it's and people want a better life, a greener pasture, and to live in uh, Mexico and come to America. And it's not just Mexico that need greener pastures. There are different countries. The Vietnamese in Africa. A lot of people in Africa want to run away from the country. <laughs> I'm telling you this for free. A lot of people in Africa want to... Let me just use Nigeria to be precise. They want to leave Nigeria for a better country, like US. They have better infrastructures and resources. But they can't go because they don't have such amount of money to leave their own country to another country. They, they, they can't. They don't have such amount of money. But Mexicans I understand that they want to come in and some of them don't have such amount of money. But because they're sharing a border with America does not give you the right to enter just like that. You also limit other people who who ought to come in like people who have filling some applications for like six years eight years and they've still not gotten their visa approved yet like some people five years their visa is still not approved guys and they just want to come to america for a better life and going to purchase for different countries in nigeria to be precise like a lot of people want to leave the country but their visas are not approved or they're denied and uh, they don't have the resources to even leave the country in the first place. You understand? That does not mean they should just come into the country illegally. There are process to every country. There are process. There are countries, if when you come illegally, they will just instantly, on, as, on your arrival, they're deporting you back to your country. Because when there's mass immigration, there are lower wages. And the country passed through more tough times and hardship. So this is something that America... I have to talk about more and some they have to restrict and Donald Trump was working on that <laughs> he was working on that this border um of a thing so guys comment up below talk about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe i just want a bag like an old lady i'm back was smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake her or oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all